Hi everyone, welcome to Lucilva's Cooking. Today I'm making a simple, creamy, cheesy mac and cheese, perfect for the holidays or any time. To a large saucepan on medium heat, add 14 and a half ounces of salted chicken broth, 12 ounces of evaporated milk, and one teaspoon of chicken base or salt to taste. You stir a little bit to combine, cover the pan, and let it come to a boil. But be careful, keep an eye on it so it doesn't overflow and make a mess on the stove. You stir it again and add half a pound of elbow macaroni, which makes plenty of macaroni and cheese for four to six adults. You stir well, separating the pasta and keep stirring it until it comes to a simmer. Cover it, but not completely, and let it cook for about six minutes. The macaroni is still a bit firm, and its starch already started to thicken the sauce. Now, it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. Two tablespoons of salted butter, one cup of heavy cream mixed with half a cup of whole milk, and give it a good stir. Make sure you lay out the cold ingredients for about 30 minutes prior to cooking. Add half a cup of sour cream, mix it in, add two ounces of cream cheese, and break it up. Once everything is melted and incorporated, shred an eight ounce block of extra sharp cheddar cheese and an eight ounce block of Kobe Jack. Add three quarters of each block to the sauce and reserve the remaining cheese for later. Add a little bit at a time, stirring in between. I don't recommend using pre-shredded cheese because it's coated with a starchy substance that keeps it from clumping, which also keeps it from melting as well as it should, and in my opinion, makes the sauce grainy. Extra sharp cheddar cheese and Kobe Jack are our personal favorites but you can be creative with the cheese selection. Great cheeses to use are mozzarella, Gouda, Kobe, Fontina, Monterey Jack, and Gruyere. This mac and cheese is deliciously creamy without the addition of flour or eggs. This is a good time to taste the sauce and adjust the salt to your liking. So I added half a teaspoon of chicken base. Butter the bottom and sides of a two and a half quart baking dish. Pour the creamiest and most delicious mac and cheese ever right into it. And evenly spread the remaining shredded cheese on top. Bake it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit in a preheated oven on the center rack for 20 minutes and broil it on high for about a minute or until it browns to your liking. Just don't take your eyes off of it because it can easily burn while broiling. Place it on a cooling rack for about five minutes to let it set a little bit and then cut into this amazing creamy deliciousness. Look how crispy the cheese topping is. If you like my mac and cheese recipe, please share it with your friends and family. If you make it, let me know how you like it. Whether it's for a summer cookout or the holiday season, this comfort food is always a hit. A popular dish that brightens any lunch or dinner. I hope you give my recipe a try and give it a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.